This is the VIP 1000. I don't know if VIP stands for Very Important Player or what exactly that stands for, but this is a part of our history. It is a video disc player, a capacitance electronic disc system made by Hitachi. This particular system was introduced in the early 80s by RCA and they licensed the technology to our friends in Japan and Hitachi decided to make their own unit. So here it is. This is the VIP 1000 and uh, for a player that's 31 years old and could be older than that depending upon when you're watching this video, you know, uh, I would say it's pr built, built pretty well. Uh, how many electronic devices in your house are over 30 years old and still work. That's got to be pretty amazing. Simple controls on the front, just your return, which basically, you know, turns it off. And then you have your forward, reverse functions, your play function, and your side uh, indicator. And you have this dial here that tells you approximately how far into the disc you are. Each side of one of these video LPs holds 60 minutes worth of material maximum and so once you play 60 minutes worth of material you have to flip the disc over and play the other half. Now at the time I'm making this video I have uh, had the, as much fun as I could have with this particular unit so I'm selling it on eBay so if you happen to be uh, looking at this video at about the time it was put on here you can look on eBay and uh, take a bid on this one. Notice the beautiful simulated wood grain cabinet on the outside. All of the stuff from the 80s and even from the 70s, it seems like, had this gorgeous fake wood on the side. In fact, they even went as far as to tell you it's simulated wood grain, okay? It's not really wood. It's plastic, okay? And that doesn't hurt, hurt it knocking on it there, by the way. In this little compartment right here, is the stylus or the needle that reads the information off of the discs and by opening this little door here and reaching in you can see the stylus has a very 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 small uh, diamond needle on it that reads the capacitance electronic discs if any of you have seen the movie Back to the Future, you'll know that the machine or the device that took the DeLorean back in time was a flux capacitor. Well, guess what? This disc right here is a flux capacitor. All right, so flux meaning constantly changing, capacitance meaning it's uh, capacitance, whatever capacitance does. So it is. Uh, the variations in, in uh, capacitance that turn a uh, disc, this guy's really scary looking, I'm scared. he's scaring me, okay, uh, that turn the uh, information on this disc into video that comes on uh, your TV display, and I have my little buddy TV over here to uh, demonstrate this for you. So uh, if you hadn't uh, heard that before or read that before, that RCA video disc systems use flux capacitors, uh, they do. Every disc that you put in here is a flux capacitor. Um, this one, of course, was made in April of 1982. Made in Japan. It's got uh, some simple outputs on here, just audio and video, and then a place to hook the antenna up to your TV. So you can play it through channel 3 on your TV. How many of you remember that? Channel 3 on your TV. Don't do that anymore, do we? All right, so let's turn this booger around here, and we'll shove in a disc, and we'll see exactly what that looks like. This this one's just too scary, this Planet of the Apes, so I'm, I'm going to play Hombre, this Western, <coughs> from uh, 1966, looks like. So what you do is you take the disc, and you very carefully, but firmly, push it into the front of the player. Sorry, I wasn't watching what my camera was doing there. All right. You push it in until it clicks, and then you pull the disc back out, and then the machine goes into action to play the disc. It zooms into that uh, starting place.
Now, ironically, these, uh, again, are vinyl records, similar to vinyl, uh, and it's a record that has a movie on it. So just like any other record, it is susceptible to all of the same stuff that regular records are. Scratches, um, the discs will actually skip if the needle is wore out or if the, uh, the disc is actually damaged or, or wore out on its own. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that's the nature of the beast. Uh, Laserdisc kind of put this technology in its place. Laserdisc was so com completely superior to this stuff. And, of course, uh, this particular uh, technology is what caused RCA, as we know it today, to go bankrupt. And uh, RCA is just a name now. It's not really Radio Corporation of America. So, lesson to you guys, don't ever make... A video format on a on a vinyl record or you'll go bankrupt and your company won't exist anymore so but it is one of the coolest things I mean who would have thought that these discs and this player would still play 30 years later just as good as it did the day it was made uh, resolution wise this is just a hair better than uh, regular VHS and um, that ain't saying much. Those of you out there who have seen VHS know that it's not that great a quality. How, how it is that it was so successful and we put up with it for so many years is beyond me. I always hated it. But Okay, so now we're going to go over here to this button and we're going to hit return and watch what the needle does. It goes back over to standby. The TV goes blank. And then what you're going to do is take your disc, Caddy it's called, Shove that into the player, go back out, and it goes off. Operation does not get any simpler than that, does it? And one other feature that we didn't highlight earlier was on the front here, there is a jack for a remote. So your remote was not an infrared remote, it was a wired remote. So you had a wire draping across your living room to control this beautiful unit that we have here today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review of this Hitachi. Uh, as far as real reviews go, uh, this Hitachi is not the best machine out there. And the only reason I say that is, is because it's not a stereo unit. I think the, uh, the stereo units are, are in uh, much more in demand because they really do have good audio quality. And, uh, but as far as the Japanese made ones go, I would give this one my thumbs up as far as that goes. So if you're a collector, this is a great one to have in your collection. And uh, be sure to match this wood grain to all the other furniture in your home. It will look fantastic. Thanks for watching.